The two of you have known each other for about three years, is that right? That's correct, yeah. About a year and a half ago, you came up with a very interesting, and it turned out, rather lucrative idea. What was the idea, sir? Uh, a rave bingo event. A marriage between a bingo and a rave. What is it? I DJ as myself, I host it and call the numbers. And then I have an assistant called Nigella. And, and who is Nigella? Explain Nigella to... is uh, a character, a gorilla. A gorilla? A gorilla, yeah. <laughs> Help me. So if you're going to advertise the, the, the night, uh, how, how would it work, sir? Uh, so Nigella is used uh, on the evening to help me, but also she's used for our promotion. She rides around on a mobility scooter uh, <laughs> with an advertising trailer at the back. J j just pause. Um, does Nigella wear an outfit of some description? Uh, absolutely, yes. Um, Nigella is um, originally Nigel, uh, the gorilla. Um, it stemmed from a TV programme uh, called Not the Nine O'Clock News. Oh, yes, I know. Where there was a, a gorilla on there, played by Rowan Atkinson, called Gerald. Yes. Um, Nigel was the nephew of said gorilla. Um, and... We then decided that it was then going to become a cross-dressing gorilla. Uh, she wears a blouse, she wears a wig with, with rollers in, because uh, she couldn't be bothered to do her hair. Um, yeah, she has... <laughs> yeah. Understood. Now, here's the thing. Your role as Nigella, the cross-dressing gorilla, yeah. I suspect the public responded rather fondly to yeah, a gorilla we... dancing about. And yeah. did it... Well, did it have an effect? Did it get people to the event? Yes, it did, yeah. She became a bit of a local character, a name known in the area where we do our events. And it's right to say that sometimes, in order to market the event, Nigella, or Ryan, uh, sometimes gets up to a bit of mischief. Yeah. Let's just have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Was Nigella going through a drive-thru? Yes, that was, that was, <laughs> yes. That, that was a drive-thru, yes. <laughs> there, there she is. There, there's the rollers in the hair, there's the, the, the blouse and um, the sunglasses. So, <laughs> were you in Barrow in Furness, dressed as a female gorilla with rollers on, twerking? Er... <laughs> uh, Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I was. Amongst... Uh, twerking is not my only skill set. I do have other things that I do as well. Um, I, I, do, I can do many dance moves. Um, what other moves does Nigella do? Oh, she does absolutely everything. She'll do the, um, the drop that is known as a derogatory term in the nightclub industry. Michelle, would you mind? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Could I just add? No, I you may not. How ridiculous that looked. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, do forgive me. I do. <laughs> Now, I can certainly see why you get a lot of attention. Now, can I ask the um, gorilla to stand up, please? Now, step forward, just a, one step forward. S stay where you are, please, sir. Um, is this the costume that you wear? In part, yes. Uh, uh, understood. Uh, now, it, the reason I, I wanted this gorilla to come in, and it seems very silly, <laughs> but I have to tell you, there were four 999 calls <laughs> on the basis... This is true. On the basis that a real gorilla was on the loose. Yes. Wearing that costume. Yes. I mean, they must have seen or they might have seen the gorilla doing a drop. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done one of those drops, Mr Gorilla? Can you show us one? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Um, yes, that's... Exhibit A, you can go now, Mr Gorilla. Thank you very much. No, 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 le no, not... Le I want the scooter. <laughs> You'll have to walk out. <laughs> can you help the gorilla? Where do you think you are? 
it's not a pantomime. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judgment of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.